Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3JF, your ham radio sensei, and I have some exciting news for you fans of SDR Play receivers. For a limited time, Ham Radio Outlet and SDR Play are offering the SDR Play RSPDX at a specially discounted price. Not sure what the RSPDX is or why you might need one, here's Steve Brightman, KI4ENW from SDR Play, to tell you all about it. Hey Steve. Thank you, Julian. And now I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the RSPDX. In a minute, I'll show you how it compares to the other members of the RSP family from SDR Play. But first, let's just go through the key features of the RSPDX itself. The RSPDX covers all frequencies from 1 kHz all the way up to 2 GHz with no gaps. Now within that range you can receive, monitor and record up to 10 MHz of spectrum at a time. One key feature of the RSPDX is that performance below 2 MHz has been substantially enhanced which gives it improved dynamic range and selectivity. We'll show you that a bit later on. It also features a software selectable choice of three antenna ports, enabling extremely versatile antenna switching. It has an enhanced ability to cope with extremely strong signals compared to its predecessor, the RSP2, and it has excellent dynamic range for challenging reception conditions. And finally, it has an option to use an external clock input for connection to GPS references for extra frequency accuracy. Like all members of the RSP family, the RSPDX works very well on HF. Here's an example of a QSO between Hungary and Japan on the 20 meter band. So where exactly does the RSPDX fit in the range of RSPs from SDR Play? Well, for many people, the RSPDX occupies a sweet spot between the entry-level RSP1A and the high-end RSP Duo. Like the RSP1A, it is a single tuner device, but it has three inputs, which makes antenna switching much more convenient. It also has the HDR mode, which we will go into in more detail later. The RSP Duo, on the other hand, also offers three inputs, but it has dual tuner capability. That will enable you to tune two widely different frequencies at the same time, or you can use two separate antennas and explore the world of diversity tuning, which can give you much better reception in adverse reception conditions. Now let's look at the HDR, or High Dynamic Range Mode, which is a unique feature of the RSPDX. It comes into play at frequencies less than 2 MHz and gives you improved sensitivity at the lower frequencies. First off, let's take a look at the medium wave and long wave bands. The HDR mode of the RSPDX is enabled by a new band available from the band select buttons in RX control. You'll see the entry there for HDR and then you have a new range of buttons for the various ranges of frequencies below 2 MHz. Here we're looking at the medium wave band or AM broadcast band and you'll see there are other buttons for various other ranges across the LF and VLF spectrum. And now we'll switch over to the long wave band using the LW button in RX control. John Jeremiah Sullivan. So we're on the north side of the city. Um, the... Non-directional beacons, or NDBs, 
are a popular target for many hands. Now we're going to switch over to the NDB low button in the band select panel and see what we can hear. Changing gears, I now want to mention the antenna switching flexibility offered by the RSPDX. With a choice of three inputs, you can do uh, many great things with it. You can use one of the inputs to hook up to your transceiver as a pan adapter, and then with a simple switch in the software, you can switch over to different antennas connected to the other inputs. Antennas A and B utilize SMA connectors and they're usable over the full range from 1 kHz to 2 GHz. Antenna C features a BNC connector and that is restricted to frequencies below 200 MHz. In addition, antenna B has a BIOS T circuit which can be used to activate an external preamplifier if you need one. The 160 meter band has somewhat of a reputation for being quiet a lot of the time. The nice thing about having the RSPDX uh, just for listening or hooked up as a pan adapter is that you can switch over and have a look and see if there's any activity going on on 160 meters and then if necessary you can switch your transceiver over to that same frequency. So now you have a better idea of what the RSPDX is and what it's capable of, I'm going to turn it back over to Julian so he can tell you the details about the exciting sales promotion that's going on right now for the RSPDX. Back to you, Julian. All right. Thank you, Steve. As I said at the beginning of this video, HRO is offering the RSPDX at a specially discounted price for a limited time. If you've ever wanted to get one of these units, now would be a great time to get one, especially as the holiday season is rapidly approaching. Links to the RSPDX on the HRO website are in the description below, or you can use the search feature at the top of the HRO website and enter RSPDX to get directly to it. So happy holidays to you all. For Ham Radio Outlet, I'm Julian Frost in 3JF.